Good morning everyone, Chris Tuck here, West Wickham Health and Fitness. I hope you are all well. Wow, Monday again. Have you set your intentions for the week yet? Now I know many FitPro colleagues um, set their intentions for the week on a Sunday. They plan, they prep, and they already know what they're doing for the week. I, on the other hand, always use Monday for my plan and prep day because Sunday is my rest day. I went out Friday night to support um, the local club here with their charity event. I and some of my members came out for a comedy bingo night, which was brilliant, but I'm not used to going out very much and it took its toll. Saturday, I did my last eight week psychoeducational program um, for that group of individuals that I helped through my survivorsofabuse.org.uk um, website. So the next course is starting a week after next, um, the 8th of April, I do believe. And after that, so that was a full on session, half a day training. After that, we went out for a meal, which was lovely, just to seal that off and just to spend time with people. And then I went straight down to Brighton to meet up with Beverly Ann, my friend that I do my podcast with, Breaking the Cycle Two Step Forwards, that you might want to check out. Um, and we spent all of Saturday afternoon and all of Sunday recording our one year anniversary podcast special edition. We went and just went round the lanes, we went onto the pier, Beverly did her swim in the sea, absolutely mental. Did her swim in the sea yesterday afternoon, freezing bloody cold, um, but she's raised over 500 pounds for refuge. So well done, Beverly. Um, and then I came home and had to clean out the guinea pigs, had to do some chores, and here we are, Monday morning, back again. So I'm absolutely exhausted today. So I will be using today as a rest day in between teaching classes and planning for the rest of the week. Because I've got a full on week teaching classes and um, trying to sort out some admin this week. So how has your weekend been? I'm hoping it's been a little bit more restful than mine. And I want to know when do you find the best time for you to plan and prepare for your week? Do you plan and prepare for your week? Or do you just meander through life, finding it really difficult to achieve things because you don't have like a plan of action? Or are you a person that everything is planned down to a T and there's no room for flexibility or no room for downtime? It's really important that we have balance in our lives. So using the planning and preparing technique to help serve your life, but not be a detriment to your life. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, clocks went back, didn't they? Saturday night, and it's pitch black dark outside, and it will be like that for a couple of weeks until we get those light mornings back that we had last week, that I actually do prefer it to be a light morning, actually. Um, however, because it's lighter at the end of the day now, I'm hoping that that gives some of you um, a bit of hope that spring is truly on its way and those darker days that might impact you mentally and physically are behind you and that you can feel that spring, as I said, is on its way and it will make you feel better, hopefully. All right, so have a wicked day, have a blessed week, and whatever you do, make it count for you, all right? I've got to get ready for class now, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now.